Hi, I have another EDD video, and this is a great video because we have an update of Bank of America. What does this mean? It means that the judge actually passed a new bill uh, that actually said and agreed with us citizens of people that are supposed to receive the benefits money from unemployment that Bank of America has to reopen all the fraud cases which means that everybody who actually called in for fraud, that they actually got their money stolen and money missing, now they can actually have potentially be able to get paid, okay, for all the money that was missing, which is great. All right, so Bank of America reopened fraud cases, and that means they don't have to deny no new fraud cases or no past fraud cases, okay? They were doing it automatically, and now they have to actually consider each account and actually potentially even pay them back, right? So this is great news, right? So we're going to read the article, but before that, please subscribe, hit the like button, and look at the description because I got a lot, a lot of great offers for you guys. Free money, I'm telling you, all you got to do is, is um, sign up for my applications right there using my link. And you'll get free money, okay? Make sure you follow the instructions. I made videos about it. And don't forget, I have a better way to actually contact the unemployment department using the link below using Claimer. You get a $15 discount. You long, long, longer have to wait on the phone all day. All you have to do is pay $15. Why? Because you get a $5 discount off of me. And all you got to do is um, use it and they'll return your phone call in 10 minutes. That means the unemployment department the representative is going to call you in 10 minutes. You're going to answer it. No longer wait on the phone and you're going to talk to them, okay? So let's get on with the video. Uh, first one says EDD fraud message. Um, EDD fraud mess. Sorry about that. Judge sides with jobless workers against big bank. Okay. Judge issues preliminary injunction devised uh, to keep mega bank from blocking unemployment benefits amid EDD fraud woes. Okay. So that means uh, just because you submit a fraud, uh, that means they don't have to block your EDD card. You are able to actually receive your benefits and take out money for your benefits, okay? Which is great. If you submitted a new fraud case, if you submitted a past fraud case, they can no longer reject your case saying, you know what, um, EDD doesn't have money to actually pay for your benefits. Why? Because someone stole them. So we can't help you out, right? They can no longer say that. Now they have to say, you know what, I don't consider your case. I don't consider this fraud issue. And now we're going to have to probably even pay you back, right? So we're going to keep reading and this is great news, right, for everybody, right? So it says here, a federal judge has ordered a Bank of America to unfreeze the accounts of unemployed California workers whose benefits were blocked because of financial mock. Uh, presume the payments could not be linked to fraud, okay? So just because they said it can't be linked to fraud, um, or I can't find no trace about fraud, even though someone stole it or someone probably used your information, but I can't say it was actually fraud because it happened probably in the same city or maybe something similar, then obviously they can they can um obviously uh, they can't pay you back, right? So because it's not linked to fraud, they can't reject your um your fraud case anymore, right? So it says here the the district of San Francisco through a plenary injunction has also uh, also blocked Bank of America from automatically freezing payments of unemployment benefits. If the accounts are flagged by an automated filter device to identify to identity potential fraud. Also, if they think you were identity theft, that you're they didn't, they didn't actually process your ID.me accounts, if they couldn't verify your identity, that means they couldn't uh, block your, your um, EDD card, right? Your benefits. So that's, that's the thing. So now they have to unblock it and you might be having, able to get access to your EDD funds, all right, with your card which is great news, okay? The bank inside froze numerous accounts of unemployment uh, California workers because the company used an automated filter to halt payments if the computers indicated that accounts could not be linked to fraud, right? Like I said, they can be linked. It was automatically done by the computer. So uh, all of a sudden, millions and millions and millions of people were having difficulty getting their benefits because their accounts were frozen, right, by Bank of America due to fraud, due to identity theft, due to computer problems, unemployment problems, and due to um, you also submitting a case of fraud, right? right? Because, I mean, you missed out on money, right? Someone took away $1,000, $5,000 from your account, right? So there's hundreds of thousands of California workers who lost their jobs might be potentially be might potentially be affected, okay, which is um, this is us. The judge ruling his first twist and wide ranging fraud scandal that has engulfed in the state of employment. California workers who lost their jobs in the wake of government ordered business shutdowns to con combat con coronavirus, right? Now, it says that only in California, but this is in all states. Bank of America, it's everywhere, all right? So, it, even though it was right in California, this is going to affect all states, right? So, this is great news for everybody, right? So, EDD contact Bank of, Bank of America provided secure accounts for processing and recurring benefits including issuing and handling of debit cards that workers could use their benefits, right? Uh, in January, uh, January uh, alarmed that Bank of America had frozen many unemployment payments due to fraud. Uh, now they did a class action law, uh, lawsuit on behalf of affected workers, right? 
So, um, so not only did the Bank of America fail to implement basic security measures, they treated uh, cardholders, treated us payments, us um, benefits recipients that uh, were victims of fraud as criminals, and they often just froze our accounts and not even uh, let us retrieve all the uh, all the money that we had left. Right, just because of some fraud for a thousand dollars. Now everything was on hold and we couldn't even access to nothing, right? So that was a problem, ma major problem, and that's why we they passed this this new lawsuit, right? Now this order prohibits Bank of America from freezing accounts based on a bank's automated fraud filter, like I spoke already, deny claims of unauthorized transactions based on the automated filter. If you're if you submitted a fraud claim, now the Bank of America cannot deny that. All right, they have to investigate and have to consider it, okay? Not just an automatic because of, because of unemployment benefits insurance card, right? Denying claims for provisional credit without conducting an investigation, okay? So like I said, no more uh, just denying it for no reason. Now they have to investigate it. Denying claims without providing a written explanation of the bank's findings, okay? So they have to file a full report, not just say no to it, okay? The judge also ordered Bank of America to reopen any claim that bank closed or denied based on an automated filter, fraud, fraud filter, right? And provide written notice to cardholders that their claims have been reopened, okay? Provide provisional credit if new or reopened claims cannot be resolved in 10 business days and cannot complete the administration within 45 business days, right? Or 45 days. Establish the rate toll-free numbers for affected workers. Staff bank centers uh, so that average speed to answer is no more than five minutes, 90% weight of uh, 90 percent of the time okay so uh, they're improving things much faster that's what they said and Bank of America has agreed has responded saying that yes we're gonna do all this what you asked for us to do and we're gonna complete it okay so I mean that's great news for us we're gonna receive more help if you've been afraid they've been a victim of fraud now they, they won't actually deny you just 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 by that automatically now they actually have to take the time and pull out a report for your needs okay so uh, again, this is great news for us. It's gonna affect everybody for like almost like a 2.71 billion workers that lost their jobs. Now they can actually get help and receive the benefits as quickly as possible, okay? So like I said, this is great news for us. Uh, very fantastic new update. So remember, uh, go ahead and certify for your benefits. Certify, uh, reapply if you have to reapply. Like I said, at the end of the year, you have to reapply. And don't forget, even though EDD Kicks California is already down or any other state, I have a link down below that you can use with Kramer. You can contact the representative right away. They'll take uh, only $15 from you because you get a $5 discount off of me with my link down below. You click on Kramer. And within 10 minutes, uh, you're going you're gonna to receive a phone call from the EDD representative. Okay, that's right. You don't have to wait right online. You're going to receive a phone call within 10 minutes and you'll be able to uh, contact the EDD department right away, right? Ask them all your questions, get your account unfrozen, get your benefits. Um, uh, uh, delivered to your bank account and deposit it so you can actually withdraw your money, right? Which is great news, okay? So remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, share my videos, and because I got great offers for you guys, free money, faster way to contact the representative from the EDD department, and a lot more information for you guys to know, all right? So remember, subscribe, hit the like button, and thanks.